Okay, so I pretty much was married on this whole thing in like a few hours. I mean, it was so much fun to read. Like, I don't know why I just first started picking it up. It was like, I just, it was the first few pages. I was like, dang, this is actually pretty, like, decently fun. And there's a lot of comedy in it, mixed in with, like, the action scenes. Um, too. So it's definitely like that. It's not like a pure comedy, like Squirrel Girl. Or, and not, and not pretty serious, like the Inhumans comics or the X Men are doing it right now. It just has that little nice little balance of. You no know, comedy and action, which I'm kind of noticing with some more other Marvel titles. And I'm starting to notice that some of the Marvel titles are actually starting to comedy, starting to get a little bit more on like the anime side. A little, I noticed in a few like senses, like especially with the um, humans comments I was reading on the Marvel Now app. So there's that. But yeah. Miss Marvel, it's a pretty was a pretty fun series overall. Um, it does get compared a lot to like Spider Man, where you have like you know this nerdy kid who's has who's trying to conceal his identity under a mask and is trying to balance his superhero life with his normal everyday life, and you get that a lot those parallels a lot with Kamala's and her life going on where she's just like. Oh, she's trying to have friends at school. She's trying <laughs> to be a superhero at the same time. And she also like a humongous, like, nerdy, geeky girl or whatnot. Who was enjoying having fun on the internet. Um, I like the art style a lot, too. Especially in the first volume. Like, Alfonso does a really good job here. Like, you can just kind of tell, like, his art works really good for this series. I mean, seriously. It's awesome and cool and really fun to look at. And it just works really well. I'm not saying that the other artists aren't that aren't horrible either. But it's sometimes not as how to say it doesn't work with the character as well as Alfonso does it. Uh, it still works overall with the entire story that's being progressed, but Alfonso's art just like especially works well with the story and the character really well, and they kind of mush a lot better together. You know, I do understand why they change artists in this case with like, because Miss Marvel does have like other characters that come in, like you got like Thor. Not Thor, um, Loki comes in later on. So they obviously want to change the art for him. Those are the humans that they introduce. Which is such a fun introduction because you see, like, her, like, oh, here's this doggy. But he's not really a dog. He's, like, super huge. And she, and she tells her parents, like, can we keep him? Can we keep him? And it's like, what are you? What the parents are just gonna be like, you can keep this ginormously huge dog. I, I don't think we're not even questioning like how he got like as big as he can. He's not like a small dog, he's ginormously big. And also, like, you, you just spun him off the street, so there's that. They, no, no one ever went and said, We should put one in Los to see if anyone lost their dog. But no, no, we're just gonna keep him. We're just gonna keep him around. For a while, so there's that. But yeah, overall, this is a really fun series, and I definitely recommend it to everyone. I think everyone should at least give Miss Marvel the come on Connor at least a try, to see what it's like. Um, it did win an Eisner Award as well, which also proves <laughs> helps them prove that it's also a pretty amazing series. But yeah. That's going to be my review of Miss Marl, Volume 1 through 4. So, thank you.